What is up guys? My name is Andrew and welcome to Space Engineer Survival on Pertam episode number 22. Last episode we had a lot of fun destroying ships that kept flying over our base. Uh, we actually ended up destroying one over there that uh, I think I can barely see just over the mountain and we destroyed one right here. The thing almost landed on our base and somehow managed to not land on our base but did uh, manage to land right in front of this thing. A lot of you guys gave me uh, some potential explanations for why this thing just dropped like a rock with one shot from uh, from Hank the Tank. Um, by the way, we are actually going to rename Hank the Tank but I'll, I'll give you I'll, I'll, you know I'll give you a second for that. Uh, once we get over there we'll do it. Um, but this thing, like, okay, so we, we fired one shot straight in the middle. Apparently, uh, some people say we probably hit the ice things and the, the hydrogen. And so all of these engines right here uh, became completely useless and the thing just fell. So apparently this thing has one massive weak spot if you have a gigantic gun like I do. Um, but yeah, so this episode we are going to uh, going to grind all this down. Uh, also the stuff from that ship and also the stuff from that ship over there that you can see way off in the distance. We're going to grind all that down with a grinder. We have another one coming in. A Spirit of Le Monde. Look, Spirit of Le Monde, at what I've done to your brother. <laughs> you shall not come into this restricted airspace or you too shall surely feel the wrath of my Hank the Tank soon to be renamed. Um, so that's what we're going to do this episode. We're also going to do a little bit of work on the museum and we're going to do more work on the fortress up there. Hopefully getting two more guns maybe up and running. Um, and that'll be, that'll be pretty awesome. Um, so one thing I'm going to say, because a lot of you guys uh, started to uh, err on the side of my little, uh, my little Hank the Tank over there being um, a little overpowered once we downed two ships with very few shots. Uh, so I'm going to say for using Hank the Tank's main gun right here, uh, we are going to uh, reserve that for uh, situations where we are not doing the first strike. So in the situation where the Spirit of Le Monde was not actually attacking us, we would not be allowed to use this. But in a situation where like the Reaver was attacking us, we would be allowed to use this if we wanted to. So uh, this is not a first strike weapon from now on. Um, unless we're attacking bases, I guess, because those are always fun to snipe from a, uh, from a long distance. Um, but I said we we're going to rename Hank the Tank. Why? Because someone in the comments said that Hank the Tank is a name that's already used in someone else's uh, thing. So I don't want to steal a name. Therefore, we are now naming this Honk the Tonk. Uh, it's just like Hank the Tank, but it's now Honk the Tonk. Um, to avoid any, you know, copyright issues or anything like that. So say hello to Honk the Tonk. And so it is made thusly that Honk the Tonk is the new name for this thing. The wheels are no longer screwed up. We can, we can now turn properly. I mean, again, it still has trouble going up the mountain uh, like it always has, but the wheels are no longer, never mind the sound you're hearing, <laughs> the wheels are no longer completely screwed up. So it's just like relogging is that is what fixes that. Uh, we have hit something. Oh, I'm an idiot. Whoops. Sorry, little door. I didn't mean to. Please forgive. <laughs> All right, it helps that we have our, our door actually closed. Now we have a little window. We can see inside. All right, let's let's get in here and we'll go and work on the museum. Uh, one other thing we're gonna do in this episode was is we're actually going to build a couple of uh, of vehicles. Uh, obviously, I mean we have to build a vehicle for the uh, for the which we call it. We have to build a vehicle to grind down the ships, but we also have to build a welder. We, we might make those one and the same. I haven't really decided quite yet. Uh, but we're going to do that when the sun goes down because that's a really good activity to do while it's dark, while we're waiting for the sun to come up. So before the sun goes down, we're going to go over to the museum and try and build out the museum floor just a little bit. So let me grab some steel plates and we'll head on over there. Hello museum with your nice light that we installed last episode and your pillar so we don't lose you. Uh, we're going to build out this floor right here because this is where the big ship right over there, the hunchback dropship is going to go. Um, and we're probably going to try and wheel it over here somehow. With a, with a tugboat or something. So I guess we're making three ships this episode, uh, but we might not actually get to act to moving the Hunchback Dropship this episode, so maybe maybe we save that for next episode, I don't know. But we're just gonna build up this uh, this floor here to try and give this um, some place to sit, you know? So much floor! <laughs> There's so much, it's gonna take forever to weld. I mean, once we get a welding ship in here, it'll be a little easier. And I kind of wonder, I mean, it'd be a very, like, niche vehicle, but imagine if we had, like, a, a steamroller <laughs> that made floors. It'd be like a rover that has a, a welder facing down or something, and it would just kind of, like, roll over these and weld them. I don't know, it'd be very niche, 
but uh, it'd be kind of cool. Last couple of blocks for the floor is done. Yes. All right. We now have a floor for that uh, for the hunchback dropship for when we decide to wheel it in. Um, I don't trust that this will actually uh, hold unless we uh, weld it in or maybe put some supports on the bottom. So I don't know. Uh, once we build the welder, we're probably gonna have to come back with a bunch of steel plates. How many steel plates would this be, by the way? Uh, this is like 30 by, like, 14, right? What's 30 times 14? 3 times 14 is 30, th uh, 42, 420? Is it 420 or... Yeah, I think it's probably 420. Wait, no, that, that can't be it. Oh, times 25. Uh, so we probably need around 10,500 steel plates, which is not a crazy amount. Um, but that would pretty much just be the floor right here. Uh, so 10,500 steel plates for the floor. Awesome. Uh, well, once we build our welder, that'll be those will be rookie numbers. Uh, let's go up to the top then. Now that we have a little bit of this built out, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to do on the museum for now until we at least get some of this welded. Uh, and then the next step is just moving that over. Um, as far as like the interior of the museum, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. So this would be like the main entrance. Then you go in there, you have that thing on the side. And then all the way back there, you have the stairs that go up to the top. Uh, over here, you have individual rooms for Im important things. Uh, and then up top, you'd have like little patron rooms probably, which again, I still have not edited the patron settings or like updated them for uh, for next month. But uh, stay tuned if you guys are interested in that sort of thing. Um, uh, so let's go and do some uh, some work on the fortress because that definitely needs a little bit of work as well. How many materials do we have? Uh, okay, so we only have 10,000 iron, so another iron expedition is probably in our future, whether that be off-camera between this and next episode, or this episode. Um, I actually don't know where... <laughs> the last iron expedition we did was one all the way over, over there, which is kind of depleted of iron. So we might have to actually go and find another iron, although I think we have some, like, uh, right up there on that ridge. But, uh, let's go up to the fort and see what is, uh, is in need of doing. Um, if I recall... Okay, so we still have this thing sitting up here probably with a lot of materials in it, if I had to guess. Uh, yeah, it does have a, a, a ton of stuff. Um, was this attacked? I'm trying to remember. We did place this last episode, right? We built this up. W were we attacked? Like, at some point, and I didn't even realize it? Uh, like, are these guys damaged? Yeah, these guys are a little damaged. Um, I guess we were under attack at some point. This thing just didn't have any ammo. Uh, maybe the Spirit of Lamont hit this? I didn't actually see it hit it, but but I wouldn't uh, put it past it. Alright, let's put these blocks up. These were never welded, so that's why they were so easily destroyed. But these guys right here were uh, were welded, so they, they were a little stronger. Okay, so building out this right side right here, that's going to be the next one we're going to work on. Oops. Let's uh, grab that before it goes all the way down. Oh god, oh god. We just froze a little bit. That means a Reaper, a reaper is spawning, right? I'm too slow! No! <laughs> I don't want it to touch the touch the ground like all the way at the bottom. There's so many holes here. What the heck? Something really barraged this at some point. Maybe those were already there last episode. I don't know. Um, some of you were saying, by the way, we could probably re rebuild this and make it work. I don't think we're going to. I think we're just going to. Uh, um, I mean, it was in better shape last episode, surely. But I think we're just going to repurpose it and uh, and build a new one, uh, especially because I want a little bit more storage on the new one as well. So that'll be that'll be nice to have. Uh, let's weld them in some of these since we have steel plates on us, and this will give it a little more protection against any random barrages that decide to come uh, come in and attack us. And you know, I might fit some of these with uh, with the little armor plates because you guys have told me that the little armor plate things that they have in the game. Uh, I'm talking about uh, these guys right here, the light armor panels and the heavy armor panels uh, don't deform and they don't spread damage to other blocks. So we might actually fit some of these with them, put them on top. So when one block gets hit, it doesn't damage all the surrounding blocks as well. It would just damage the one armor panel um, because they don't they don't do that thing where they they uh, spread out the damage. Uh, and also in the comments as well, because I, I really love reading comments and you guys have the most amazing suggestions. And honestly, this whole series is pretty much a compilation of comment suggestions mixed with my random ideas. So uh, so it's it's definitely cool to kind of see things. Uh, um, get built. Uh, but uh, one of the things you guys were saying in the comments as well is a lot of people seem to be in favor of me connecting this space uh, to the bunker down below. So we're probably going to end up doing that with at least an elevator or a stairs. Uh, I haven't really decided or a combination of the two. Um, but essentially what's going to happen is this will probably go down and then the uh, the 
um, thing over here will meet up. Because this is right here, so if it goes down, beep, 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 it won't exactly meet up. It'll be right there, and the bunker is right there. But that's not that far, you know? You can kind of make up that distance. So we'll find a way, uh, a way to do it. All right, we're getting there. We now have a platform of mostly welded blocks uh, with a couple of unwelded. We just really need a, a welder to help us out here. Um, but we're, we're definitely getting there. I think it's about time to take this thing back to the base. So let's turn on our thrusters and get out of here because we, no, we have no longer any steel plates on this thing. So it's not any use keeping up here. Um, but it was a good transport to bring some, uh, some stuff home. We still have a very heavy inventory. So lots of things we can transfer over to our, uh, our, our main base. Um, and it, it acted as a pretty good welder when it came down to it, didn't it? <laughs> I mean, it didn't do any of the welding job, but at least the cargo part of the welder, which is um, kind of like 80% of what I use a welder for anyway. All right, make that connection and we're home sweet home. So we can now press eight and nine to turn on lock and recharge respectively. And we can go over here. Let's, let's do some transferring of materials really quickly. Uh, I won't make you guys sit through this. I'm just going to move things from the, uh, from the, from the, um, which we call it from the miner to the storage. Okay. To make things a little less confusing for me, I'm actually going to change my naming convention just a little bit. Um, I've been using cargo and storage interchangeably, but from now on I will call it cargo anything that is on a ship and storage anything that is on a base. So when I type in storage, I should only see our base connectors, base storage, uh, base cargo storage one, that sort of thing. But when I type in cargo, I should see all of our, like I've got our hauler cargoes over here. I've got our uh, base cargo. No, see, I need to change that. But, uh, but I think I also have all the minor cargoes as well. So let's go and change all those and, and, uh, and that should help us out here a little bit. Okay, with that done, that's going to help us out quite a bit. Uh, let's also try and do something else as well. Let's try and make some, uh, some of that ammo that we need for the, um, for the new weapon we're building. The 50 millimeter armor piercing ammo containers. Uh, I don't know how many we want. Let's make 10. Boop. And see if they... Okay, they are actually making, so let's make 20. <laughs> We'll, we'll make that many, and then we're going to go up and actually place that thing. So let's grab all the stuff for it. Boop. Just like that. Can I withdraw six steel plates? Are you kidding me? Boop. Okay, all, all were successfully withdrawn. Uh, we're, well, I don't want to make two trips. I mean, if we've got some ex extra inventory space, let's go ahead and take the ammo too. We're only able to take eight. That's fine. <laughs> Bro, I love how weird our, our, uh, our lighthouse looks now. It's all like loopy and stuff. Not loopy, but like it's all dented and it looks... It looks kind of funny. Um, all right, let's stick this thing right over here and we'll position it like we did last time, which I think was like that. Let's go ahead and build it up. And, okay, it was it was facing the other way, but I think it's fine. Uh, we have this thing specifically to insert ammo and we'll take that as well, because we don't need that. Uh, and, oh, good Lord. Oh no, no, stop it, stop it. Ah, it's shooting at stuff. Uh, 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 turn off, turn off. Kapesh, Kapesh, turn off. Thank you. Good lord, man. You're just gonna shoot at a down ship like that? I mean, I, I get that it's... You're not even aiming at it. What? What were you shooting at? <laughs> um, okay, that thing is gonna remain off for now. Well, let's just lower its range so it doesn't shoot at that. How far is that? Oh, we don't have a thing on there anymore. That's probably like a kilometer away or something. Okay, reasonably, this thing does not need to be aiming more than a kilometer. So, 1,000. Uh, I get that it's fun seeing it shoot at things that are a million miles away, but it's probably fine like that. Okay, it's a it's a lightning storm. Let's get back to base because we know those things have a habit of hitting us exclusively. But uh, that open tide there might be the first uh, test of our of our might if it decides to come close within a thousand kilometers, I guess. But uh, okay, it's officially becoming nighttime, so it's about time for us to start working on building a new ship. So we're going to do that down in the hangar. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna try something you guys have told me. I'm gonna I'm gonna finally try something you guys have said I should do for a long time. I'm gonna use a rotor to host our new ship instead of a uh, instead of a whatchamacallit? landing gear. Uh, and the reason you guys have said that this is better is because apparently it will actually charge the ship as it's uh, uh, as it's being built, which is better because yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, by the way? I think we're going to have to... Yeah, you're completely out now. So we're probably going to have to do a, a run to the uh, Dune Power Bank pretty soon. 
Um, but these guys are able to take up the slack, fully recharge in three hours, so that's actually kind of impressive. All right, I'm thinking for this ship, we're gonna do something interesting. We're gonna have two large cargo containers, which might be a bit overkill, but two large cargo containers means we can have two welders on the front. But do I want it like that, though? We could do something like this. We could utilize these blocks right here. Uh, not the sorter, but the uh, the frame. To do something like this, where we do one, two. We just have a space of two like that. And then put our next one right there. We're just coming up with a design as, as we speak here. This is <laughs> I don't know how it's going to look, but uh, hopefully it'll look decent. Okay, so I'm trying to find a way to make this a welder and a grinder at the same time. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm going to try something with a hinge. So if we have a hinge like this, that would kind of make the grinder part stick out quite a bit, wouldn't it? However, then it would allow us to have the grinder kind of up while the other thing is working. Okay, so imagine it like this as the default state. So we'd have our, our, uh, our welders right here going in, welding what they want. And then whenever we want to use these things, we just bring them down. And, it would, it would, and then we'd be able to uh, to use them because they'd be sticking out forward, so it'd be really easy. These would be, almost be just not even here. Uh, the alternative would, would be to have the turning ones on the bottom, but that I think that's a little harder to navigate, having something on the bottom that's um, maybe dragging on the ground, as opposed to having something right here that may be clipping on things if you're like maybe flying in a little low like that. You just have to be careful. Um, all right. Okay, so the entire profile of the ship will be about that long right there. Um, I've just extended these. We're going to put batteries on the outside, or maybe on probably on the inside. Uh, and then we're going to have some larger thrusters. For our cockpit, we're going to put it right here. So I had this, this cool idea. We're just going to stick it right there in the middle, and we'll be able to uh, kind of see what's going on. I'm thinking we spring for two heavy thrusters in the center like this. Uh, they won't be able to connect right there. Let's, let's give them one block separation. Um, so those two will hold us up pretty well because this thing can hold a lot of materials So those two should be good and then we'll just have the batteries in the back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here is our ship uh, We might add more armor to it like maybe on the back or something. I don't really know um, And also we probably want a landing thing So she doesn't just like fall All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a little bit of a redesign uh, I realized that this the uh, the system I had uh, going was not working um, specifically because the block on top was actually not connected to the cargo container. That's why it was yellow that entire time. But I've redesigned it and I think it works a little bit better now. So we have the two welders, which I've given some nice little little outside blocks as well to make them look a little nicer. Uh, then we have the grinder on the top and the grinder is on a, uh, a hinge just like before. However, the hinge this time doesn't go straight up. It goes all the way back into storage, just like that. Oops, let's put it down right there. Just like that. And now we have this nice slim profile again. So whenever we need it, we just go bloop, and it's in front. And whenever we don't need it, we stow it away in the back. Uh, in order to make that happen, I ended up uh, moving these one wider, the two, uh, the two sides. So we now have three blocks in, in the middle instead of four. Um, and that allowed us to put this in the middle uh, um, right there. Uh, I moved everything else wide. I, I mean, I put a couple more back thrusters. Uh, what else did I do? I put one more battery, so now there are four batteries instead of three. And now I have two seats as well, just to make it nice and even. So, uh, so yeah, all, all in all, it's looking pretty, uh, pretty solid, I think. And it's probably ready for uh, carrying some stuff. Um, as far as carrying capacity goes, I don't know yet, but I know we have four, uh, two of these large thrusters uh, pulling this thing up. So that's pretty solid. Five uh, pushing it and up to six, I think, um, stopping it from going forward. So we have a decent number of thrusters and plenty of room to put more on the sides if needed. Um, I guess specifically that side. That side doesn't have that much room, but we could, you know, we could make do somehow. Um, all right, I think it's finally time to disconnect it and hopefully everything works. So let's disconnect it. Uh, it's officially disconnected. Uh, I think I'm just going to remove this thing because I don't really want it there. And we'll remove that as well. And let's hop in this thing. I'm going to go on the left side. Uh, but we have British capabilities too on that other side. If you're British, you want to you wanna hop in that uh, that uh, that right side and, and drive over there. But um, all right. Not bad. Uh, it doesn't look like we're using very much of our power at all because we have those three batteries. We have plenty of power left. Let's go and see if we can hook this thing up. This thing looks like a bus. I don't know. It looks like a futuristic bus thing. It's very weird. 
Um, I'm gonna need to set up all the controls at some point, but for now, let's just see if we can go hook this thing up. It's got lights everywhere, and the uh, the front spotlights are actually the high-powered ones from the mod as well. So you can see it, it's definitely illuminating a lot of stuff uh, that we usually can't see. But let's see if we can find a nice parking spot for this thing. Uh, right over here next to our miner. Alright, it is connected. And one thing I, do, I usually don't do, but I need to start doing more, is I added lights on this thing as well, so we can kind of see where it's going. So we have all these lights on the side that are going to help us uh, help us see the ground around us. And look at those spotlights. Oh boy, those are, those are shining like crazy. Um, Alright, that thing's going to recharge a little bit. Uh, and once it becomes daytime, we'll be able to go up there and do some work on our base with, uh, with this thing. Okay, and one other thing that I'm going to do uh, for this ship that I usually don't do or I usually forget to do is I'm actually going to put this on the workshop, so if you guys are interested in messing around with it, uh, it'll be on the workshop, probably with a couple more modifications, um, uh, because I'll, I'll probably put it on the workshop after this video is over, um, and, and by then there will be different things to put on it. But the Mark I welder slash grinder unnamed ship is, uh, is in existence. So, there it is. Alright guys, like I said, let's wait for this thing to uh, to charge up, we'll put some materials on it, and we'll go and work on the base. Hello morning, you are so beautiful to behold on this day. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's get up here, and we're gonna go up and, uh, oh wait, actually, ooh, I have an idea. Let's, ooh, I see my shadow. I see two of my shadow. <laughs> I am too. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're going to uh, we're going to take this thing and we're going to do some grinding operations. Oh shoot, I, I actually have not put in the uh, controls. Let me real quick put in the controls. Then we're going to go and do some grinding operations on the ship up there, and then we're going to go and work on the stuff up there. All right. Okay, I've set some things up. We have our welding mode where we can go uh, click click. You can see it turning red over there. Uh, and then we have our thrusters on off. We'll go up and we can demonstrate. Boo! Just like that. We have our spotlights on off. Uh, and then we have our other things that we had before. And then on our number two slot, we have our uh, grinding tools. Now, I've, I've purposely kept this on our number two slot and I purposely put the grinding thing all the way in the back on number nine. So I don't accidentally select it and grind down my own ship while it's facing this way. So what we do first is, uh, let me set my uh, hinge. We press this button. It uh, starts to come out forward, so you know it takes a second. We don't want it to go too fast and like knock my ship down. <laughs> you can like fly around while it's doing that or something. I don't know. Make sure you have clearance up top before you do this, by the way. And then once it's done, we have another button to lock it, so it can't it can't reverse or anything. So now, if we wanted to press number nine, we could use our grinder, which we're about to do. Let's go over to uh, one of our crash sites, which is going to be that one right there. Uh, hopefully the guns have not somehow respawned because that would be a very sad end to our uh, to the ship we just built, our new my our new uh, welder slash grinder. All right, here we are, and I don't see any new guns, so that's a good sign. Let's get down here and start uh, destroying things. We should have lots and lots of room to uh, to store things, so let's get it going. Oh, look how quick that is. That's just that's just instant. Did we suck up ice, by the way, when we just did that? I want to check. If we press K, or no, if we press I, uh, did we suck up any ice? Yes, we did. Okay, so that's good. So it takes all the materials that are inside it. Awesome. All right, let's keep grinding things. I'm kind of interested in seeing what our uh, what our capacity is going to be. Because, I mean, look look at this. We're just grinding down. Look, we just ground down a whole one of those things. And those things are a lot of storage. Uh, if I look at my cargo, you can see... We've already got 19,000. I think the, the small containers only hold like 30-something thousand, right? So this should be able to hold quite a bit. And we just got a bunch of thruster components. All right, let's 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 keep grinding this. Get all the stuff. Oh, grinding two, grinding four things at a time? There we go. That is how, that's how pros do it. <laughs> oh, shoot. That is not how pros do it. Okay, I take it back. I'll tell you what, another gyro might be in, in, uh, in order here. This thing does not turn terribly quickly. I think it's because it's getting heavier and heavier as we uh, grind things. But, um, I don't know, maybe that's one addition we could add is, is a third gyro. We have two on it currently, so a third gyro would, uh, would be good. Okay, we are actually almost at our capacity, and I'm, ac I'm surprised. I would have thought that these two big thrusters might have been able to hold us up a little bit better. Well, maybe we'll add a couple of smaller thrusters as well in that case, because if this is our capacity, that's kind of that's kind of sad. <laughs> well, I guess everything else is very heavy on the ship as well. The the actual uh, 
uh, main ship components. But uh, all right, let's head over here and we'll do some welding. While we're going, we'll un unlock this and we'll move this back over. Uh, actually, we might be holding a little bit more because I think maybe the uh, the ship weight is not accounting for the uh, the arm. I don't know for sure, but we definitely need to be careful going down because we are just about at our weight capacity. Um, okay, we're gonna land this thing exactly where we landed the other. Actually, why land it? Oh, I'll tell you why I land it, because we're almost out of oxygen and we definitely want to go and get some more before we uh, start to die. Alright, we are landed very gracefully. We actually did end up destroying some block by accident because of our thrusters, I think, but it should be fine. I'm going to go and grab some oxygen real quick and then I'll be right back up and we'll start working on our fork. Okay, this, this is actually kind of sad. Of our containers, we have filled up one. <laughs> well, actually, no, we haven't even filled it up. We are about halfway toward filling it up, even less than that, and this thing is having trouble already with uh, with staying up. That's kind of a little sad, uh, if you ask me. Let's throw our thrusters back on and see. Yeah, it does have a lot of trouble going up. I'm ashamed of these two thrusters on the bottom. <laughs> but, you know, that's why this is a Mark 1 and we're going to uh, make it better. Uh, let's get up in the air and start working on some of these uh, some of these things. I'm gonna try and weld up a lot of this because we want to get this back up and uh, back up and running. Hopefully, I would love to have an operational windmill again. Not f windmill, uh, lighthouse. Okay, now we have mostly fixed the tower. We still have a couple of blocks on the outside that are missing, but we have all of the uh, mostly broken blocks repaired. So we, we should have all this steel or the, the scrap metal we're going to get. Let's bring this thing back to base. Uh, I'm going to add a couple more thrusters aiming down so we can carry more. Um, again, though, I am ashamed of, of, uh, of its lack of ability to hold things. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure the rule of thumb people have told me in the past is if you have eight of these, it's the equivalent of one large thruster. So I'm pretty sure since this thing has eight and eight, which is 16, and this has two large, I'm pretty sure that was why it had the same thing. Uh, and then in this case, we've just added six more, which gives us a little more. So maybe maybe we can hold up to maybe 320,000 now, but it's still nothing close to the storage that we have. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Mark II version of the uh, the welder slash miner thing. It's now got a bunch of small thrusters on this side here. Uh, this side has five, that side has five, and then in the middle we have six right here. Uh, five and five and six is 18, or 16 rather. <laughs> and then uh, that's the equivalent apparently of two large thrusters. So we have doubled our thrust downward output, which means we should be able to carry about double. Um, now, unfortunately for us, that's still not even a full one of these containers, which is kind of sad, but... Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Is is uh, is the volume of the container directly related to the weight it can carry in this game? I don't actually know. All right, we now have a lot more things. We have a lot of... Uh, we have about 6,000 or even 7,000, I think, um, uh, steel plates, and we have 2,000 metal grids. Uh, we're at 365,000 kilograms. We're using up a lot of our power here. Um, if we're if we're at max, we would only have 15 minutes of power. Luckily, we don't plan on staying at max power for that long. But uh, let's get up here and weld things. Um, we need to... I think we're going to start with the gun stuff we already made. And we're going to uh, finish that gun. In fact, didn't I make some ammo for this thing? Wait, didn't I build the gun? What happened to my gun? Okay, all my ammo's gone. There's no way something attacked my my thing while I was not here, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, nothing is damaged, but our gun is missing. So I'm starting to think, I'm starting to suspect foul play. I think my gun may have vanished on me. That's the second time my gun is mysteriously gone and not like any blocks around it are damaged. Last time we had two blocks missing right here. But no other blocks were damaged, I think. No, some blocks were damaged, actually. This was damaged. But that's not damaged this time. I don't know, I still suspect foul play. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do we have a do we have a case of a mysterious block running around? I don't know. Alright, let's uh oh god. Oh, that's not gonna work very well. I was not thinking when I did this. Luckily we can still actually drive this thing, but if we try and face down, bad things are gonna happen. So let's try and weld up all this stuff on this area. Oh, careful. 
Careful, me. Gotta be careful. Alright, we've got the uh, the major heavy blocks put in. Can we get these guys? I doubt we can get the stairs, but... Oh, there's a chance! And with a chance, we weld the stairs! Okay, uh, let's get these guys. Why is there damage there? Oh, because my ship damaged it. I remember now. Yeah, Mark III is going to have to have some more forward-facing thrusters, isn't it? I'm thinking that's going to have to be the play. Yeah, so one of these is missing, but I might just not have noticed that before. Uh, if we do Control g by the way, this is a fun thing. If you do Control g you can actually place blocks while in this thing. So I can place a block right there and right uh, and right there if I wanted to. And then Control b Control g to go back to ship mode. And you can run around and do this stuff. You guys actually taught me this uh, in the the uh, earlier seasons of Space Engineers. Where's my... There it is. Uh, back in season two of the original trilogy, I'll say, because it's three tr uh, three seasons. Um, you guys taught me that, so thanks. But you guys are going to love this one, because what we're about to do is something that's not a good idea. Um, but <laughs> we're about to reset up the antenna. That's why Reavers haven't attacked us, I think, um, uh, since last episode. is because we didn't have an antenna. Why is it not letting me place the antenna? Okay, we're going to have to place the antenna manually. All right, there we go. And as if called by the heavens, the Reaver would spawn instantly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, if the Reaver does decide to attack us, at least we, we have two functional weapons up and running on this base. Um, okay, we're almost out of materials on our welder thing, so let's head back to the main base and, uh, and, and go deposit some stuff. I mean, we could also go and grind down more ship. It's going to take a lot longer than I thought it would to, to grind that thing, though. Um, but, and also, I'm, I'm now expecting a Reaver attack any second now because we just placed that thing. <laughs> I think I'm just exaggerating. They don't attack, like, instantly, but still, you know. Don't suppose it requires iron to make any more of those armor-piercing things, does it? No, it does. We're out of iron. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of iron. You guys know what that means. It's time for a quick iron expedition. I don't know where our next iron deposit is, because that one over there uh, that we've been using uh, for a long time is pretty much all but used up. So it's time to find a new iron place. Uh, I think I know where to look. I'm, I'm pretty sure we have iron on this uh, on this ridge over here somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure. I know there's cobalt here uh, because we've gotten it before. I think it might be right in front of us. No, nope, maybe not. Okay, I don't know where the cobalt is. I do know it's here, though. That's probably it right there. But I thought there was iron, too, somewhere. Ah, I even marked it. Iron and nickel, close, is right here. So we can actually just use this iron. This is going to be a really easy iron. It's uh, straight down. Uh, and I'm going to try to find a way to, to uh, mine in so it's easy for our ship to get in there. Maybe something like this. And let's get down there. Ah, a fresh bit of iron. Never touched by the world, but now I shall harvest it and use it in my base. So, thank you, Iron, for uh, signing up for the Andrew uh, refining program. Uh, you will be compensated uh, with... I don't know, what can we compensate Iron with? <laughs> You'll become a steel plate or an ammo container. I don't know. I wonder what Iron would be thinking if it were sentient. Probably best not to think about it. All right, quick iron check. Let's see how much we have. 74k right there, 79k right there, and then another 18k right here. As far as stone goes, we don't have that much. Still a little bit, but um, but I think it's fine. Let's uh, let's take what we've got and get out of here. Let's skedaddle, as they say. All right, any reavers yet? I don't see any. That doesn't mean they're not there. They could be hunting me from afar. You never know until you know. And home sweet home. Oh, I actually <laughs> I accidentally did the uh, did the reverse order of what I was supposed to do. I usually do connector then recharge. I did recharge then connector. Luckily though, as of one of the latest changes, these no longer require power, so it still let me connect. Um, so crisis averted. Otherwise, it just would have fallen to the ground. But anyways, we have plenty of. All right, we're going to the Dune power bank. <laughs> this is zero truck simulator, baby. And we're going through the Sahara Desert, which is not in Europe. And also not in Euro Truck Simulator, I don't think. All right, just like a real trucker, I can't actually tell if my trailer is still attached uh, without uh, looking around. Nope, I can't tell at all. Okay, we just gotta pray. 
Should be fine, though. Should be fine. Those are the f uh, famous last words, of course. All right, we're coming into our, our local truck stop here where we'll be able to drop off our uh, our thing. Okay, let's see if we can line this up right the first time because that's how we that's how we do things around here. The first time. All right, just just going to line this up. Okay. Okay, and maybe just a little forward and that should be good if I'm if I'm lucky. That should be good. Let's see. That is not good. All right. Are you clear at least? Yes. Okay, just a little bit forward maybe, just a little more. Maybe right about there. Should be good. Okay, maybe a little more. Okay, pulling up a little bit. Okay, maybe just a little more. Okay. Aha! First time! Alright, cool. We're just gonna let this thing kind of recharge and we're just gonna lounge around in the... Oh, let's take this thing for a drive. We haven't driven this in a long time. Oh! Oh, it's so fast! <laughs> and I doubt it's capable of handling that speed either. Good lord! Oh my god! <laughs> let's go drive over to the, to the uh, museum while we have this thing. Oh no! Okay, and it lands it like a boss. And it does it even does a 360. That's that's just how awesome this thing is. Let's go over to our museum, which is totally not sticking out of the ground awkwardly. Let's hop over here. Woo! <laughs> oh man, that's a stunt car. Okay, while we're waiting for the batteries to charge, you guys think I can land this jump right here? Can we do a flip? Let's find. So I do have some regrets. Um, <laughs> this is gonna just sit here now because I uh, I can't fix it unless I have a battery, which I do not have, but, uh, all right. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. This isn't exactly a critical asset of our vehicle squad, <laughs> but, uh, you know what? If this is still here by the time I get a battery, then we'll, we'll fix it up. Let's go see if the other thing is charged by now. I don't think I've ever gotten anything tremendously good out of one of these unknown signals, but there's always the chance. And you know, we gotta, we gotta, um, fill that gambling addiction somehow, right? Let's find out. All right, button. Big money. Show me the skins. We have a badger welder. Awesome. That's uh, exactly what I was looking for. And I'm glad that we have it. Now, while this uh, drop pod didn't exactly fulfill all my dreams uh, with the skin that it gave me, it did give me something else. Um, it gave me some credits. And that reminds me that supposedly there are trading stations in this world. I don't know where they are. But uh, supposedly there's probably one on Earth somewhere, or uh, not Earth, whatever this planet is. Um, hopefully this isn't Earth, otherwise we're going to have a Planet of the Apes situation. But um, <laughs> now we're just going to find a Statue of Liberty somewhere off, off in the random uh, dunes. But, uh, but anyways, hopefully, I mean, supposedly there's a trader station somewhere out there and we will be able to find it. But uh, I don't actually know because I never received a beacon that um, that might tip me off. So the only way we'll figure it out is probably if we go to space uh, or something like that. Which a lot of you guys have been wanting to to uh, to see. So actually let me know if you guys really want to see me go to space. I've done it plenty of times in the other series is, is and I was I was kind of gearing this one toward a mostly planet side existence with uh, reliance on rovers. But if a lot of you guys really want to see me go to space then we could make a little space expedition uh, to go find some asteroids, maybe to go find some traders that would be up there. I don't know. Could be interesting. Okay, the sun's going down again, which means we're probably reaching that two-hour recording mark, so it's probably close to time to start uh, thinking about stopping the episode. Um, but let me just bring a battery to that thing real quick. Actually, hang on. G. Remove that. Now give me another one. Uh, we're going to get this. Cannot withdraw six power cells. excuse me. Can I... Uh, can I hear that again? Okay, all components were successfully withdrawn. Good. Uh, we're going to bring that stuff back um, to our base. We're going to power it up. And then we're going to end the episode. And next episode uh, is probably where we're going to end up bringing that ship over here. I said we're going to do it in this episode, but again, we ran out of time, unfortunately. We still haven't even built the ship that'll do it. But I have a plan for how to bring it here, and it's going to be super awesome. And it's going to probably clang, and it's going to be hilarious. But, uh, but again, it's going to be awesome. All right, let's get this thing built up and ready to go. Now we just need to flip it, which uh, we could probably use a method akin to the battery method. Nope, we cannot. Okay. All right. With two gyroscopes, it should be possible to flip this thing. Yes. All right. And now does it drive straight as well? Did we solve that? No, we did not. 
that's fine. All right, let's head back to this this uh, Dune power bank and uh, charge up. Actually, we can do sick jumps now if I if I uh, if I think we can. <laughs> I know we can. Land it. <laughs> oh god, not into trees though. Oh, the tree can do sick jumps too. Look at that. <laughs> okay, looking at these, I think they're probably full. So let's go ahead and turn this off recharge mode so it can start charging again. Uh, I know this is super inefficient. And when we have two trailers, we will probably turn all these batteries off until those trailers or until the trailer that's docked here is full. Um, and then these guys will start charging. So, I mean, you know, if it's wasting energy if we don't have anything charging. So, um... Even though it's not as efficient to charge into here, then charge into there, um, it's still more efficient than zero, you know? So, let's, uh, let's head back into our truck for the final leg of our journey. Looks like we got ourselves a convoy. Yo, you guys should come on and join our convoy. We're going through the night. <laughs> we got a great big convoy. Ain't she a beautiful sight? It's actually just a convoy of one, but... Yo, I just thought of an idea. Let's let's make a space engineer server and just only have highways in it. And then all you can do is drive around in trucks. And it's just essentially Euro Truck Simulator in Space Engineers. And you can have like 20 people driving around with these things and in a big convoy. That'd be really cool. No! What happened? Oh, they're on recharge mode still. Whoops. Alright, we're gonna have to pull over for a for a uh, a rest stop here. We gotta come out and fix that thing. And dang thing always breaking again. Oh, I forgot the parking brake. Oh, good grace. I forgot the parking brake. Turn it on. Ah! Oh, she jackknifed. That works too, I guess. Uh, the buttons no longer work. This is problem. It's all fine. All we have to do is turn this to auto and she is back in action. It would actually be nice to give this thing, this truck a little, uh, a little generator as well so it would have its own power but actually where is the power for this thing is there batteries down there i don't even remember how i built this thing but uh release the parking brake and let's carry out the last leg of our journey um but yeah this is where we're going to end the episode uh so a good time for an outro in this episode we did a little bit of work on the top part over there we built a welder slash grinder that i'm actually pretty proud of um and we went from Mark 1 to Mark 2, so I'll probably be posting the Mark 2, unless I make some uh, changes after the episode. Uh, but I'll post that, and then I'll link it in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Um, I know a couple of you guys have been interested in checking out the ships that uh, we build here. Um, next episode, we'll be probably trying to move that thing into the museum. Um, expect a reaver attack, probably, if I had to guess. Because uh, they've been a bit quiet this episode, so I think they're planning something. Um, all right, now comes the hard part. You guys know it, and you guys love it. Let's back in. Oh no. Okay, let's do it. Hey, maybe it'll maybe it'll go smoothly. Maybe it'll just work on the first time. <laughs> you never know. Okay. Okay. Nope. A little too much. Okay, we gotta we gotta pull forward a little bit. Now come back a little bit. I'm telling you, man, this 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 never gets any easier. It probably does. If you do it for a living, it probably does. All right, that's perfect. Let's give a little, little little bit of a turn there. I don't think we're gonna make that turn now. Oh, nope, we're not. Okay, it's fine though, because now we're perfectly lined up. We are not perfectly lined up. See, I would include all of this in the video, but then we're gonna end up with a two hour video. Oh, this is it. This is it. And we have connection. Well, not connected yet. We have to actually manually connect it, but we have almost connection. Okay, welcome back home sweet home. We now have this thing working and that should mean that these are working as well. Yes, they are. To provide us with some much needed iron. But anyways, we should now be getting iron and I see that we are, so that's good. Uh, it's the end of this episode, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you like the video if you, if you like it. Make sure you dislike if you dislike it. Comments down below, etc. See you guys in the next episode. Peace!